Thanks to modern estrus synchronization technology, it's easier than ever to schedule your cows for time breeding. Here are a few Selexire's customers talking about how they get it done on their operations. Synchronize the cows, we get them in, give them a GNRH shot, put a cedar in them, seven days later, pull the cedars, give them a lutealized shot, and then 60 hours later, we artificial breed them, give them another GNRH shot. Most of the most years you or we have been getting somewhere around 60 to 64 percent of the cows bred AI'd. Um, here at Bush and Sons Land and Cattle, we 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 employ the seven day co sync plus cedar, which essentially means that uh, we'll have the cedar in for seven days and then you have to breed them on the 10th day. And so, three trips through the chute, and it sounds like a lot, I don't disagree. But regardless of what time of year you breed, you always need to work your calves, and so, um. Typically on day one, we'll put, or day zero, I guess, technically, um, we'll put the cedars in, the cows, and give, them, give them a vaccination, or give them a shot of GNRH, and then we'll also pour them. Um, we don't vaccinate any cows around the breeding time. Um, there's been some data show that even killed products can inhibit um, synchronization uh, protocols just a little bit. And any, uh, as an as a AI technician myself, any little bit helps. And so we avoid that. And then, and then the next thing we'll do is go into work in the calves. Um, around here, we, we typically will knife castrate now, vaccinate them, um, and, then, uh, and then also deworm them as well, and then get a handle on any tag and mishaps from, from calving or anything like that. And typically, uh, with the setup we have and the, and the right people, you know, we can usually be done on a group of 100 before noon, and, and that's when it really starts getting hot. So we can get the cattle out, get them cooled, get, get them cooled down, or at least not any hotter. Um, the second trip through the chute is a week later, um, and it, uh, it it's, um, always has to be done in the evening, unfortunately. And so um, a lot of times, you know, we want to time AI them 60 to 66 hours um, after, after we pull the cedar and give the shot. And so that puts us in the evening, and uh, sometimes it can get pretty warm, but uh, typically if you're going to start breeding at 7 in the morning, you need, to, you need to be done pulling cedars and giving shots at 7 in the evening. And so... Think you get a little cool down there, but you gather the cows then, and it's it's pretty easy. A lot of times, we don't even need to catch cows in the chute, and so um, uh, it's just a, a tub load at a time, and, and away you go. And so that usually takes uh, less than 15 seconds a cow. Um, so it's not that tough. You're you're talking for a group of 100, you're talking probably three hours between preparation, sorting, and execution. So not a big time commitment there. And then breeding day, we always start early. Cool weather helps with conception rates. Um, and by that time, the calves are worked. Uh, the cows are in, in good shape that way, ready to go. Um, a lot of times I like to lay eyes on them to make sure that our heats are where they're supposed to be. Um, and then uh, and then we'll go ahead and commence to breeding. We usually start at sunup gathering. We get them sorted and we go right into breeding. And, uh, and usually we're done 9, 10, 30 that morning. Um, and so... That way cattle get out again, get a chance to cool down that stuff. And then about 10 days later, we'll kick in the cleanup bowls.